close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And this way you develop your mindfulness, your alertness, and your ardency as you stick with it. If you wander off, you come right back. Wander off again, come right back again. You do this both for your own benefit and for the benefit of people around you. There's a phrase in Thai, when they tell you not to be selfish, translates literally as don't look out for yourself. And as John Sawat said, that's a misunderstanding. We should look after our, ourselves, we look out for ourselves in the proper way. It doesn't mean we're not also looking out for others. You look after yourself properly, other people are going to benefit. You become more mindful, more alert, develop more discernment. You're less likely to give in to your greed, aversion, and delusion. And that way you place less of a burden on others. At the same time, when you look out after them, you develop qualities of patience, endurance, equanimity, kindness. These things will come into your own mind. You need patience as you meditate. You need endurance. You need equanimity. You need to be kind to yourself. Well, it's good to be kind to others, too. That's a good way of learning to be kind to yourself. And you develop good karma this way. That's good for you as well. So there's no necessary conflict between looking out for yourself and looking out for others, if you do it in the right way. The Bodhi gives the image of two acrobats. One acrobat is standing on the shoulders of another, on top of a bamboo pole. And the one in the acrobat below tells the one up above, okay, you look out after me and I'll look out after you, and that way we'll be able to perform our tricks and come down safely from the pole. And the one on top says, no, that's not going to do. You look out after yourself and I'll look out after myself, and that way we'll be able to perform our tricks. In other words, each acrobat has to maintain his or her own sense of balance. The other one not to be knocked off balance. So as we practice, we're trying to maintain our balance. And that helps bring more balance into the world.